let's move it up to the next level. Good wondering. Okay, now in, in this stage, you're often going to have some pretty insightful questions and you're going to see that the, the responses to them could pursue the reasoning further. So they're interesting questions, but you wish there was more. It sort of leaves you wanting. And sometimes the reverse is true, that a really interesting idea is hit upon, but then a question isn't asked that follows through with it and takes you down that journey. The word choice is more careful in this area, but it could still be better. And I know that people have seen on their test responses Seth making comments like, I still don't know exactly what you're trying to say. He's very picky about word choice. He wants to know really exactly what it is that you are thinking. So you do have to be very careful with your words. Um, oh, and then also in a good example of wondering, or yeah, in good wondering, the counter example is forgotten. So you sort of get enamored with your own ideas and you get a little bit of an echo chamber going on. And so it doesn't address the responses that somebody who's coming from a different point of view might address. So let me show you what that then looks like. Please forgive all this reading and looking down, all right? An example of some good, some good reasoning, all right? Polis demonstrates the power of orators by comparing them to tyrants. Their words make it possible to kill or to steal and to get away with it, just like a tyrant does. So are all tyrants orders, I wonder? Polis says later that evil is in being caught or in the punishment for the wrongdoing. So maybe what makes a tyrant a tyrant is the ability to talk your way out of punishment or discipline. Maybe tyranny is a particular kind of oratory. Um, is it more than just oration though? It seems like a tyrant needs more than effective words or speeches to be a tyrant. It seems like there's a force that's inherent in somebody being a tyrant. And so I would think they need some guns, they need some soldiers, they need some backing to keep people from protesting or asking questions, sowing discord. And that makes me wonder if maybe force and guns are a kind of oratory. Because if I think about what oratory could mean, it could mean force and guns are a form of oratory also. They do persuasively communicate a message. I know that if somebody puts a gun up to my head, I'm going to be persuaded or convinced that I should do whatever they say because I don't want to die. That seems to me to fit in with what oratory could be if it's just a form of persuading me to think something. Um, and I remember that Gorgias said earlier in the, the text that a good orator makes the crowd feel like the orator's ideas are their own, and that's a mark of a good orator. So maybe the difference between a tyrant and a politician is simply their oratory skill. People feel oppressed by a tyrant, so they um, so maybe it's a matter of degree. Maybe great tyrants must be great orators. So if tyrants are great enough orators, then people don't even notice that they're tyrants. They just consider them politicians. And if I think about it that way, it's kind of scary how much power somebody could hold if they're good enough at talking. You can see that this wondering went quite a bit further than the previous example of the moderate wondering dead. So let me point out places where it could be better, where it could dig deeper. Um, there is the lack of counter examples. Now one of the really obvious places I think that a counter example could be brought up is in this idea, are all tyrants orators? Well it seems like there are plenty of tyrants that aren't very good orators through history. So that's a counter example that could be brought up that would open up another possibility in this line of wondering. Now another part that goes hand in hand with this is this question, so are all tyrants orders? It's a fascinating question, but it's not pursued in this line of wondering because the very next place that it goes is explaining 
Polis's definition of evil having to do with punishment and discipline, and then moving on to another question. So, you know, maybe what makes a tyrant a tyrant is their ability to get out of punishment, which then gets to this other idea of maybe tyranny is a particular kind of oratory, which, again, is an interesting idea. But it seems a natural question to then ask is, well, what sort of oratory would that be? So the, the questions are interesting. The ideas are interesting. They get somewhere. They just don't go quite as far as they could. Thank you.